Hey everybody, welcome back around to the Blog and Grill. I am your host, Doug, here with your video blog for June 10th, 2014. I have a great blog planned for you today. It's going to be real exciting. We're going to be talking some MLB power rankings. Same team at the top as they remain hot. I'm going to give you my World Cup winners as I'm going World Cup full throttle for about the next month. We'll go World Cup winners for the group stage. We'll talk a little bit about USA as well. And we'll give you a look at the schedule coming up for the World Cup. New York sports update as well as the Knicks have a new head coach. And Syracuse Orange make a statement about their basketball schedule. But first let's get to the NBA Finals. Heat the other night on Sunday night tie up the series at one game apiece. With a two point win over the Spurs. LeBron James has a monster game. Goes for 35 points and 10 rebounds, shooting 14 of 22 from the field in the game overall. A great performance by LeBron James. A solid performance by the Heat defensively in the fourth quarter. I thought the Heat really locked it down. A lot of missed free throws by the Spurs. The Spurs were 12 of 22 from the free throw line. Tony Parker played well. Duncan struggled to shoot the ball in the fourth quarter. And the Heat defense stepped up, and I think that's really where the game shifted. The Heat went from just kind of trying to contain them to really getting oppressive on them and shutting them down. The Spurs had some late empty possessions in Game 2, <clears throat> and that really set the tone for um, Miami to win the game. Chris Bosh hits a big three late. Um, LeBron James had the big defensive play on Tony Parker. It was still a Spurs ball, but the Spurs only had eight tenths to get a shot off. And really, it came down to Chris Bosh. He hit the big three, had the big pass to Dwayne Wade, and the Heat tie up the series and make a statement saying that they're going to stick around in this series and LeBron James can win them games for sure. Game three will be tonight, eight, or right around 9 o'clock, I do believe. I think I'm going to give you my X factor for both teams. I think my Heat X factor has to be Shane Battier. Didn't play a lot in game two. Look for Shane to come out and Shane Battier kind of just waiting around and Shane Batty is the kind of guy that can come in, knock down five threes and win you a game uh, in the late third to fourth quarter. My Spurs X, X factor has to be Kawhi Leonard. He has to find a way to either stop LeBron James, contain LeBron James, or make some shots, okay? Kawhi was a guy that averaged about 13 and 7 during the regular season. He's going to have to find a way to get some stuff done here in game three and if he can he's going to be in good shape to be a big time player for this team overall though I think the Heat will win game three I still pick in the Spurs to win it in seven I think the Spurs will win game four and then they'll go on to win game five Heat will take game six at home Spurs will win game seven at home so that's what I have seen going on in this series we'll talk more about this series as we continue throughout the week we'll have more on it tomorrow as we'll wrap up game three so stay tuned for that time for your major league baseball power rankings coming in at number five this week we have a team up four spots the los angeles angels they're up their second place in the al west fifth on my power rankings they're my winner of the week 35 and 28 five and five last week number four milwaukee brewers 38 and 26 overall leaders in the national league central and they are at 4-3. and three. They drop a spot this week with Toronto remaining hot. Blue Jays now lead the American League East by about 5.5 games. Toronto, 39-26, 5-2 last week. They jump up to number 3. Number 2, the Oakland A's, 39-25 with a 4-3 and three week. And the San Francisco Giants, 42-22 and 22 with a 5-2 and two week. My losers of the week are the Detroit Tigers, 3-7 and seven in their last 10. They're down to 33-27. and 27. My team to watch are the Seattle Mariners, 8-2 and two in their last 10 games. They are now 8th in my power rankings and looking to make a move upwards. World Cup starts on Thursday. It's going to be real exciting for sure. I'm going to give you right now my group winners and who will be moving on to the knockout round. So in Group A, I mean, there's a lot of good teams in a lot of these groups. It's really hard to pick. It's going to come down to who plays who when. And where and what goes on within these matchups, okay? So I want to get to some of these matchups right now briefly, and I'm going to give you my winners for each group. So, first group we're going to look at, we're going to go to group A Brazil, Cameroon, Croatia, Mexico. I like Brazil 
And I think Mexico is still a very flawed team, so I'm going to take Croatia to move on in Group A. Group B, Australia, Chile, Netherlands, Spain. I think the two best teams are clearly in this group, Spain and Netherlands. Those teams will advance on. Group C, kind of tricky. I like Colombia a lot, but I think Greece and Japan will win out of this group. Ivory Coast is really going to struggle. Group D, Costa Rica, England, Italy, Uruguay. I think Uruguay with Suarez is too good. Italy's too solid. England's too flawed. I'm taking Italy and Uruguay to move on. Group E, Ecuador, France, Honduras, Switzerland. I like France and I like Switzerland in this. I think Honduras plays played a really weak friendly schedule in a really weak um, CONCACAF area as well. So I'm taking France and Switzerland. Group F, Argentina, Bosnia, Iran, and Nigeria. This group is really pretty weak. I like, think Argentina is a lock to get in. If I had to pick from the other teams, I'm going to go Nigeria. I like their speed and I like their size up front. Ghana, Portugal, Germany, U.S. The group of death. I can't pick the U.S. to get through. They have too many young guys. They're a World Cup away from being good. I'm going to go Ghana and Portugal out of this group, especially since Cristiano Ronaldo is set to play in the opening game against Germany on Monday. And finally, Algeria, Belgium, Russia, South Korea. Kind of another weaker group. I think South Korea is probably the best team in this group, and I'll take Russia to advance over Belgium and Algeria. And really, I think what's going to happen for the U.S., I think they'll probably lose to Portugal, draw with Ghana, and draw with Germany, and it's not going to be enough. Two points will not get them on to the next round. First game of the World Cup. World Cup starts up on Thursday. Brazil versus Croatia at 4 p.m. That's going to be an exciting game to watch. Tune into that. That's going to be on ESPN. All the World Cup games are carried on ESPN and ABC. Time for your New York sports update. Yankees dropped two out of three to the Royals over the weekend. They've now scored under four runs in ten consecutive games. 31-31 and 31 overall. Six and a half games back. Third in the American League East. They head to Seattle for a big matchup with the Mariners. Vidal Nuno 1-2-5-3-3 versus Hisashi Iwakuma. 4-2 with a 2.66. Mets have now lost 6 straight. They're 28-35 and 35 overall. 5.5 games back in the Ameri in the National League East. They're heading home to take on the Brew Crew. It's going to be Milwaukee versus New York tonight at 7. Marco Estrada 5-2, 4.19 versus Dice K. Matsuzaka 2-0, 3.21. Nick signed Derek Fisher as their head coach. 5 years, $25 million. His press conference was today. He was announced as the new head coach. And the Syracuse Orange and Georgetown Hoyas will play a four-game home-and-home series starting in 2015, and that will carry on through the 2018 season. So tomorrow I'll be back. Game 3 wrap-up NBA Finals. Players to watch at the World Cup. I'm going to give you my top five guys to be tuning in for. And Major League Baseball action as some young guys are starting to get called up, and it's getting exciting. Always remember to follow me on Twitter at YankeeBaller415. That is YankeeBaller415. Comment, question, subscribe to my page. Thanks for tuning into the Blog Game Drill. I'll be back tomorrow. Have a good Tuesday.